Gourmet Guitars, the best Luthiers DVD series. From guitar enthusiasts for guitar enthusiasts. Santa Cruz, California is probably the last true bastion of hippie culture. It is also a safe harbor to an extraordinary number of America's most talented luthiers. I describe myself as being um, terminally immature. It's basically putting a vintage guitar collection in a, in a little box. I'm going to be immature until I die. So I wanted to build a guitar that could fall off the back of a, a ski mobile and survive. That reverential punk attitude. See, that's the thing, is to be reverent and punky at the same time. A lot of guitar makers have basically given up on the top from here up. I think that there's a lot of things that, that need to be re-examined in the guitar tradition. Can you put the head of one sound on the body of another sound? I mean, I'd like to hear what a guitar sounds like played through a nine-foot Steinway. Just because you've put three years into an idea um, doesn't mean it works. You don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. And every now and then like to like poke a little jab when people are getting a little too serious about everything, you know. In some small way, I feel a bit like Leo Fender must have felt when he exhibited the broadcaster at his first trade show. Everybody laughed because his guitar had bright colors and a solid body. Most people thought his guitar was a joke or a gimmick. With my guitars, I'm trying to prove that the evolution of the electric guitar hasn't yet come to an end. I now have clients who use this guitar for experimental jazz, like David Torn, Henry Kaiser or Mark Freno. Well, here's two Teufel Teslas, uh, a guitar that demands to be played differently. It's the guitar which admits I'm not perfect, but on a good day, I can make people cry. Uh, I don't believe they work well in my guitars or in national style guitars. I don't believe solid wood mm -hmm. bodies work well. Yeah. He was really the first person that came along with an instrument that, to me, felt like a a national guitar should feel. I can't buy the soul off somebody else, <laughs> you know, or the heart off somebody else. I mean, and they don't work if I don't have that bit in the middle. So it was like, well, if they can do it, we can do it. And we started making frisbees. To me, Mike builds the closest to a 1920s, 1930s national. It's 12, it's two frets short of what I really wanted, but, it, but the sound is, is worth it. You know, there's the bod. So Sounds like a proper dobro.
Luthiers do not make guitars by choice. Luthery is a calling. One thing about John Monteleone is that uh, he dyes his hair purple. And it's the longest hair I've ever seen on a person. It goes all the way down to his ankles. A new guitar, like a new pair of shoes at the shoe store, should be comfortable and something that you like right from the beginning. In our little infant industry, everything that people think is high isn't enough to really buy a concert violinist a good bow. This is the golden age of guitar building. There are more skilled guitar builders alive and active today than ever before in the history of the instrument. Here in, in America, guitar makers are becoming as common as car mechanics per capita of need, you know. I really believe that the way to enjoy an instrument and use it to its highest purpose is to sit down with it and to listen to it and to ask that guitar what song it would like to play. So many choices you get to take All oh, so many damn decisions you got to make Better living and dying in a world that makes sense and spending all your time walking on this fence. Gourmet Guitars, the best Luthiers DVD series. From guitar enthusiasts for guitar enthusiasts.